Welcome to Break It Off, a brand new English talk show by Hong Kong Eye, where we'll be shattering stereotypes from all professions. I'm your host, Melody Chan, and today I'm joined with Naman Tegrawal, who is an Indian entrepreneur and also one of the co-founders of Beer, a beer brand for all. You're here today because you are going to introduce us this new <laughs> beer, which is so exciting. This huge um, upcoming trend for non-alcoholic beers in the market now because we see a lot of people are trying to shift away from alcohol, you know, but they still want to retain that, you know, alcoholic flavor or that alcoholic taste because they're so used to it. So that's why that's our newest innovation. We want to be as local as possible. It's made from cocktail bun. This is a re really great alternative to people who don't drink alcohol and, you know, you're breaking into another market. How do you think you're actually breaking stereotypes in doing this? So, I mean, there are a lot of stereotypes which we break at our brand. I think definitely from a product perspective, I would say that, you know, beer in general has always considered to be a man-friendly drink. That, you know, male will drink beer, females will drink like wine or vodka. We wanted to make a product which was equally palatable to both genders. So, you know, our products are light, you know, they're easy on the palate. It's, it doesn't have that harsh beer texture, you know, when you drink that beer and it doesn't bloat you. I think a second stereotype which we also break is, you know, there are certain religions like the Muslim religion, which is cornered off to the idea of alcohol due to their religious practices. But that doesn't mean that, you know, they shouldn't be able to enjoy the, the taste of alcohol. And you're making it really accessible for many different types of people in doing this. We'll be able to make the idea of non-alcoholic beer a lot more accessible through our partnership with Maxims and obviously through our own brand where we sell in different bars, bottle shops and restaurants. And that's what makes it really original in your brand because it uses a lot of bread and leftover bread specifically to make beer. Is there a specific inspiration point where you guys take on for non-alcoholic beers? I would say is rooted into our our brand ideology of customer is king. Like, you know, we even four years after starting the company, Anushka and I personally want to stand at pop-up booths. So many people came and said, hey, I'm cutting down on alcohol. A non-alcoholic would be so good because I want to support the mission, but I don't want to drink alcohol. So we got so much customer validation before even we launched the product. Starting a brand is always not easy. And I know you've experienced some challenges yourself in doing this, uh, especially doing a non-alcoholic beer. As an entrepreneur, I face challenges every day that there were a lot of challenges because of, you know, our age, our ethnicity, the languages we can speak. Anushka was 19 years old and I was 18 years old. And this was literally being started out of our dorm room. But, you know, the industry average is that most people, you know, are like 30 years old or over 30 years old. When we were starting out, for the longest time, you know, we received a cold shoulder from the industry. Age is just a number, right? It's the passion, it's the commitment, it's the idea, it's the perseverance which will really make you an entrepreneur. So do you think these attitudes should be changed because it shouldn't be a norm, right? Definitely. I think attitudes need to change at every level. Everyone has to come together to really support young startups in Hong Kong and that has to be with language, with acceptability, with the fact that, you know, people from other races can also do things because I am an Indian, but I'm trying to solve the problem of Hong Kong. If you cannot speak English, but at least don't isolate a person who can only speak English. It's frustrating to hear that you actually experience yeah. that, experiencing it still, um, being an Indian entrepreneur in Hong Kong. And I guess, what's your advice to people who would face these stereotypes nowadays? There's actually a foundation called Foundation of Shared Impact. I'm, I'm on their mentorship board as well. They do a mentorship program only for ethnic minority entrepreneurs. My advice to entrepreneurs is definitely keep your head down and keep building. And having thick skin. Oh, I mean, oh, definitely. I mean, I think that as an entrepreneur is crucial because, you know, some people think criticism is bad. I love criticism because, you know, it's any criticism for my product, for my taste, for my labeling, the way I talk, because I always see that as feedback. If people say, why can't you speak Cantonese? Okay, I have thick skin. I, I, I don't mind if you're making that comment, right? I embrace my Indian identity, but at the same time, I'm trying to be Hong Kong friendly. I'm trying to learn Hong Kong slangs. I'm trying to learn Hong Kong greetings. 
yeah like what, what's your advice to maybe young people who are doing it as well um, who are like you starting up starting a business mm -hmm. in a foreign country for me the only advice I give to young entrepreneurs because that's the advice I got when I was 13 years old is I say what Nike says just do it you know like so many students and so many young people and I think the biggest advantage of the fact that you're starting early is that you're young. I did, you know, two startups when I was 13 and 17. And I think those really formed the foundation of me doing anything in life now. And do you think being an entrepreneur actually helps you combat those stereotypes of being an Indian in Hong Kong? Definitely. I think a lot of people are realizing that, you know, like the Indians are not only good at food and math, we're good at other things as well. So a lot of people are giving recognition to the Indian identity already. As an entrepreneur, the only mantra is you cannot stop. You have to keep going, you have to be committed, irrespective of whether I'm white, I'm black, I'm Indian, I'm Chinese, doesn't matter. You know, in the end, what, what people will recognize is the fact that is your company doing well or not. They will not, like entrepreneurship is very result driven. Thank you so much, Naman, for sharing your insights and being a young entrepreneur in Hong Kong and also embracing your own Indian identity. Thank you so much, Melody, for having me. And I look forward to you guys trying the beer and then giving me feedback. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> and until next time at Break It Off, thank you. Thank you.